Hello again, YouTube. This is Longboard R7 with another board review, I guess. Kinda. I'm just gonna be talking about two longboards I got recently. So, uh, yeah, here they are. This is the loaded Dervisama. It is Flex 2, and it has kicktails and it here. Got the other end here as well. It's good for freestyle and everything. I've been learning to do some tricks on it. So, I think it's a really good board. Especially for sliding and everything because uh, the grip tape right here is a lot uh, more dense, I guess, than on the rest of the board. Like right here and here are the two most dense areas for grip tape. <coughs> on both sides of the board obviously. It is symmetrical and really flexible. Like uh here's a flex pack. <coughs> but I am about one hundred and 78 pounds, 75 pounds around there. So, this is flexible like this. Uh, people may say it's too flexible, but I personally like having a flexible board. Could in with a flex one, but it's just too stiff. So, I went with a flex two. I've got a deal on it too, so. But on it, I have red Paris 180s. Just the D1s. I also have a ring tang stimulus, 86A, but they're yellow, obviously. And the bearings are FDK, I believe, or FGK. One or two, but uh, eight by seven. And they're pretty good. I've been learning how to do some slides on it on this board because my arbor was um, okay, I guess, but it didn't have any slide wheels on it, so couldn't do any sliding. But Moving on to the next part, about the arbor, um, I've recently replaced it with a a Landyot switch. 2012 graphic, just got it the other day actually. Um, great board so far, I've ridden it a few times. I like it, it's a uh, really intense concave, also the W kinda in the middle, so that's good. Um, uh, I'm not gonna do the stats for either of the boards. Well, this one, the Sama, is for is um sorry, is forty basically forty three inches, forty two point eight, and this one is forty one point eight, I believe. So it's pretty big. But, um, there's also a 37 in this one. But, uh, yeah. So, this is nine layers of Canadian maple. So, it's really tough. Um, top mount, obviously. And has really good nar bars. Just lock your feet right in there for sliding. And you just put your foot right up there for downhill. If it's at the front. If it's at this, this is a back foot, sorry. Put it right up there, and you're basically set. And then you just have your front foot like this, and won't budge at all. So you're basically set for going downhill on this board. And for sliding as well, because it locks your feet in a lot. I don't know if you guys can see it at all. But, anyways, it is a great board. I can't wait to get riding it. Um, unfortunately, it's extremely crappy winter weather here where I am. Uh, so, I haven't been able to ride it yet. Well, I haven't really been able to slide it yet. But, I've ridden a little bit when I went out of town a few days ago. Uh, and it was, it was pretty good. But, uh, moving on. I just switched to my... Arbor Axis trucks, I'm put onto this one, 
so my Araxis is kind of useless now. Probably gonna get rid of it too from brothers or something and such. And yeah, so I just switch them over, and that's they think I think that'll be good. And I have 80 A Metro Motions, 70 millimeter. They are. I heard they're good. I since I said didn't get to slide them yet. This isn't really a review, like I was saying. Just kind of a quick update on what's new, I guess. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just got this about a week ago. I got my Sama just before December, I guess. And it's January now, almost February. So I've been riding that one for quite a bit. And uh, also the same bearings as the Sama. Just a different rider. But, um, yeah. So this is nine plies of Canadian Maple. And, like, you can feel the weight in it. it it's going to be a tough board to destroy, I guess. The noses, the nose and tail, however, will get kind of flattened just since if, if you keep curving it, I guess. So just don't curve it. But, yeah. Anyways, I've got to say something about the summer. It is all bamboo. It's complete bamboo, and, uh, like, you can really feel it. And it's just great for tricks that are anything to do with landing, basically, because it, you just feel it right away. And it doesn't bottom out or anything when you do the trick, so that's a good thing. And this is going to be my freestyle board mainly, and my my freestyle and free ride, and then my switch is going to be my downhill and free ride. So, but for this, there is a lot of camber. You can probably see it there, and there is more concave than the regular dervish. But I strongly recommend either of these boards. This one, mainly for freestyle, because I have I recently learned how to do a shove it and a varial on the carpet. And I know it's I know it's a lot different on the road, but uh, when spring gets here, hopefully I can try it out, get better, learn some new stuff, and yeah. So um, that's about it, I guess. For the boards, I guess. Um, recently, well, when I got my Salma, I made a pair of slide gloves. Pretty regular. No big deal. Cheap. My first set failed because the glue didn't hold properly and the pad, the pucks kind of just came off. That was kind of aggravating, but you know. Keep moving on. So, the hand puck and then the thumb puck. I don't use the thumb puck so much, uh, but that's just because I'm just sliding regularly. But for the downhill that I'll be doing on the switch, I'll be doing a lot more the thumb puck, I think. So, yeah. And also for sliding, I, since I'm just a beginner here, got ProTech. Um, skate park knee pads they are great they are really comfortable on your leg they have a neoprene soft I guess kind of like a soft you just put it on your knee and it just holds it there and at the same time velcro straps so you are double secured basically it won't slide off your knee and you can tighten it to whatever tightness you want. So I strongly recommend getting a knee pad if you're going to be sliding. I haven't fallen much. You can see if you can see. There are barely any slide marks on the ground. But, yeah, like I said, um, when spring gets here, I'll be doing some more longboarding. And hopefully I'll have some new videos. Um, but, yeah.
thanks for watching. And usual, subscribe if you want. Clear to you. But uh okay, thanks.